Today's Trash and Treasure project is this really cute little table that can be used in a lot of different scenes and can have a lot of different themes on the top. So stay tuned and see how simple and inexpensive this project is. Alright, so first, the top of our table, and this is what, where my inspiration came from. I was standing at Joanne Fabrics one day, and they had these, this is the lid to the gift box tins that they sell for their gift cards. And I thought, well, that is really cute. It's about, my ruler, it's, get the right end of the ruler, it's about five inches long and about three inches wide. So it's a good size for a tabletop. And it kind of reminds me of those kind of those modernish tables from the 60s. You know what I mean? And I know they're really in style. They were really in style again a few years ago. I like this Christmas one. I thought this would be neat in a Christmas scene. But you could also, they also had other um, themes on them. Or I would think you could spray paint this plain if you wanted to just have a plain table or maybe even uh, decoupage some paper over it. But that's our tabletop. Then I had to come up with legs. And I had to buy some nails. When I was buying nails, I saw these. These are what we are using for our table legs. And what I got, these are, it says, they're common nails. They are size 80 and they are two and a half inches long which is perfect and that box wasn't very much there's like a pound of them in there and we'll need four of those those are our table legs and we need to find a way to not make to make these not sharp so for our bottoms of our table legs i'm using whoops i'll just throw them all over some black pony beads and i'm i punched out just some circles of cardstock we're going to use a couple of different glues on this. We're going to use my 527 cement that I absolutely love. But to make the nails stick to the top, we're using household goop. And this is a new tube because my old tube ran out. And I'm going to show you what I do with these so that they last longer and so you don't get the lid stuck on. But first, let's get these little feet started. I'm going to put a little pool of, goo of uh, 527 over there. I'm going to line up my four little little pieces of paper. And this is just so it kind of seals the bottom and makes it a little more finished. I don't want those um, nail bits to be scratching up any flooring in a dollhouse. So we're just going to glue these on. Just dip this in the 527. I like 527 for gluing a lot of plastic items. It is recommended for jewelry making and it says metal but when I tried to glue a nail to something with it it just didn't hold so that's why we're going to the goop. Now the goop there's a couple of things to remember about goop and try to get these little discs on in the middle. Anything any of these glues that are this strong tend to smell really really bad so keep that in mind. This product, we need to put it on both surfaces, and I'm actually going to do my prep work first. What I like to do, I've already poked the hole in it. Take some, just some plain petroleum jelly, Vaseline, whatever brand, and run it around those, that top. I do that every time I open a new one of these. I also do that on jars of paint. Um, I should have done it on this, and I'm going to go back and do it on this tube too. So now this has this little applicator tip. We need to put a little pool of this in each corner. And does that, I believe it needs to be cut open. There. Now we'll put a little pool in each corner. 
That's better. It takes a while to get it down here. And the skirt on the table, which is what this side would be called, will cover up any excess. So don't worry about it. Put quite a bit there. You want this to really hold. And then I'm going to get, where is, I'll just use this. See, I'm going to get my little, oh, there's my holder. I need to put glue on these and have them stand up for two minutes. We need to time two minutes and then I'll be back because I'm not going to make you sit here for two minutes. And these need to sit. Set a timer. Watch your clock. Let this sit and get partially dry because this is a contact cement for two minutes. In the meantime, I'll be taking this, I need to clean this off. So first I'll take this lid off. Put this lid back on. Now that petroleum jelly will keep that from sticking. Well that's great. I set that too close. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to clean it out with a, um, like a wooden skewer and get all that glue out of there so that next time I go to use this it'll still be good and then by that time this should be ready and I'll all be right, back. So this has had two minutes to sit. And we're not going to, these feet need to dry overnight and this actually, this glue will need to set overnight. Now we're going to put these, that glue, and put it over to the corner. Try and make sure they are straight up and down. That is really important with this. And once these get set, set in there, they should be pretty firm. I've used this household goop to fix things around the house so much. <laughs> Truth be done, I actually bought that the first time because the handle broke off of my microwave. I glued the handle onto my microwave oven in my kitchen and it's been on there for like three years and it's still doing great. And we use that microwave multiple times a day every day. So that's great cement. All right, so this needs to dry, and it's best to let this dry for 24 hours before you do anything else. But just double check that everything is straight up and down, because if it's not straight up and down now, it never will be. So I'm going to let that set, and then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll show you how to glue these feet on. All right, so my table has dried overnight. Um, it's been quite a while, and it stands up pretty well. Uh, if you feel like the legs, like this leg here, hopefully the lights are not making too much glare on the bottom here. This leg here was a little wobbly when I went to bed last night, so I put more, a bigger pool of glue over it. Um, and I might go back and do that on these two, depending on where I'm going to use this. So now it's time to do our feet, because we don't want these bare, you know, um, nails hitting on our dollhouse floor. So so, we've got our little beads. Remember, we put our paper disc on the bottom, and I had to do another one because I lost one overnight. I don't know where it went. So, I'm going to put just a drop of 527 in each of these. And you could use any color, or if you have another bead that you like that's not a pony bead like this, you could use, you know, a silver bead would be kind of cool, a colored one. Depending on the color of your tabletop, you can do some really neat things here. All right, now, what I am thinking, and this is not going to be the easiest thing to do on video. I'm just standing the beads and then just standing oops, my table into the wet glue. Now, we'll just let that glue dry, and when that glue is dry, I will take the picture that you already saw on the video at the front of the video, and um, this will be done. So I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure project. We'll have to figure out some chairs for it, although you could use the ones I showed a long time ago made out of the toilet paper tube. That would actually be really cute with this. Just be sure to cut the height of your seat so the doll's legs can go between the, um, the table, the bottom of the table, 
or you could use this as a work table. But I really think this turned out really cute, very modern slant on a table. So I hope you enjoyed this Trash to Treasure project. Be sure and check the blog post and be sure and check out the Facebook page. Remember, if you make some of my projects, I love to see pictures of what you've made. So if you make something, come over to Facebook and post, post a picture, even if it's not one of my projects. I love looking at what you're working on. And if you've got some suggestions for videos, either Trash to Treasure projects or our regular videos, be sure and give me a shout and let me know what you want to see on these videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.